Yeah. Aaron, actually Riku went to the drive-thru <laughs> and got, his first drive got me burger. McDonald's. I gotta eat as much bad food as I can before Roy gets here because this is about to be so strict. Look at, yes, hash browns. Yes, I know you guys like that stuff. Yeah, hash browns. Thanks Riku, thanks Riku. What up guys, just got out of class. It is 6.38, did my scene in class today. Really great experience. Um, so I'll explain to you guys when I get home how scenes actually work. Home now, but I did this, not this whole entire play, like how scenes work here. I'll just explain it right now. How scenes work in class is that she picks a specific scene, that's why it's called a scene. Like a scene, like this would be a scene. See how it says like start right there? And then a few pages later it'll say end. We don't have to do the whole play. She just picks a specific scene that she thinks would help me in my acting whether it's me learning something about myself in that she thinks that she thinks would really fit me and so um, this whole play is about this kid Conrad who his brother actually passed away in like a boating accident and um, throughout the whole play he's like blaming himself he's depressed I'm depressed because I play Conrad and um, so the scene I have is with my psychiatrist and it's a very thrilling scene it's very explosive and it's very it has everything in it i'm angry i'm sad i'm happy i just completed the first of three steps before this scene actually becomes a full scene and that full scene is where you have like your full outfit your full costume your full set and props on stage and you do it from memory and all that so i just did the first step which was reading it out loud and by reading it out loud she just wants to see if you're on the right track if you understand the material, if it all makes sense to you, if you guys are good partners, that's what she's looking for during that whole time. If you're off, if you're off track, she'll guide you on the right track, you know? And so I did my first reading and it went really well. Um, she said we really, we both uh, understand the material really well. And so she gave me actually something that was very challenging as a note for my next time where I come on stage with the, with the book. She wants me to do the opposite of how I feel that every instinct I have, the opposite of every single in instinct I have. So if I want to cry, I should start laughing. And actually I did start crying on stage today as emotions did come up during this part because um, it, it's a very emotional play, you know? So her challenge to me was do the opposite of every instinct I have. So if I want to laugh, I should be sad. If I want to cry, I should be happy and there's it's gonna be really challenging and I know that it's gonna it's gonna be hard for me but I'm gonna practice a lot and I'm gonna get this done but it's just it's so it's gonna I'm gonna because he's he like a lot of the times he's like really sad and he's getting emotional and it's like he wants to cry about how he cut his wrist and stuff so I'm gonna be like happy about how I cut my wrist and like laughing about it and I got blood all over my mom's tiles and I got blood all over her bathtub and I'm laughing so that's what that's gonna be like but but I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna look for something to eat right now, but I had an amazing acting class. And another exercise we actually did today was we all had to go around the whole entire class and talk about like what was that moment, or if you could remember a moment that really, you just really, why, why you really wanted to be an actor. That, that was something we did today too. Don't judge me, actor's life is about to happen real right now. So this morning, I had this sausage biscuit that Aaron bought me and I left it in my car because I was going to eat it on break from my acting class, but I totally forgot. But we're going to elevate this, right? Cooking and art is all about elevating or making it your own, right? So this is just a sausage biscuit. There's no egg in there. So I was going to put an egg in it, but I'm not going to make it over easy. I'm not going to scramble it. Let's poach this egg. Yeah, it's about to be the fanciest egg McMuffin ever. And you guys are about to learn how to poach an egg. Alright guys, we're back. The water is now boiling, right? You want to take, let's see, hmm. Okay, whatever, we're gonna have to use this pasta strainer because we're ballers on a budget right now. But see how this water is boiling super hard? Now you can turn it down from high to like a good uh, medium until it gets to a simmer. Because if it's boiling, you have the possibility of exploding your egg when you put it in there, so you don't want it to be boiling. I'm gonna just bring it down to a simmer. You can bring it to low until it gets to a simmer. All right, so one of the main tricks, and is a, not necessarily a necessity for poaching an egg, but a prettier poached egg, you're gonna need some vinegar. 
So for all those perfectionists out there, you're gonna need about a tablespoon of vinegar. Um, I like to just eyeball it. That looks like a tablespoon to me. Great. And uh, I know you're thinking you're worried your egg is gonna taste like vinegar now. Don't worry, I have a trick for that after this. Uh, I'm gonna put the egg in this. That's better-ish, I hope. All right, so you wanna do, make the whirlpool again. Go as fast as you can. And you wanna try to drop the egg. Just drop it in the center, not gonna make it too complicated. I'm gonna keep going in a circle right here. Here we go, and then drop. And now you can see the egg is spinning out of control. This again, I think I cracked the egg wrong. Let's do this again. <laughs> Let's keep, uh, I'm gonna keep it over here to eat. Guys, right, take two with the nasty water. The water is now at a rolling boil. I'm gonna twist it and bring it to a low simmer. I'm gonna spin it. There's already vinegar in there, so let's do this. Come on, spin. I'm gonna get my egg right here. You kinda wanna go, you wanna put the egg in the same motion as you're spinning, you know? You wanna guide the egg. Okay, so I'm gonna spin it really fast here. I don't wanna just... There we go, oh yes! Okay, if you look at my poached egg, if you can, this murky water. <laughs> Off right there. Oh, it's getting kinda foggy, oh crap. Let me wash that. Okay, cool. It's uh, it's getting kind of circular. It's forming now. It's like a, it's like a baby dragon. It's happening right in front of your eyes, right here. Getting right now. It's trying to cook as best as it can. So in the meantime, while you're waiting for it to finish, you want to get uh, this right here, which is a ice bath. So this is some water, ice cubes. What the ice cubes in the ice bath is going to help you do is actually help get that vinegar off your egg and also stop it from cooking too much because I like the runny yolk in the middle. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. I need to get that spin technique right. I'm gonna get this perfect. Maybe not today, but I'm gonna keep trying. That's like what cooking is all about, guys. I know you guys can't see my face, but like I mess up a lot of times too, and I'm gonna show you guys that I mess up, but I really did mess up. I think I even messed up this one, but it looks pretty poached. You'll actually see if it floats right now when it's, oh gosh, when it's close to being done or not. Um, just take my egg, actually place it in the cold ice bath right here. Gonna help get that vinegar flavor off. It's but if you do it right, if you've ever seen mozzarella, it's supposed to look like a perfect mozzarella ball. But I mean, it kind of looks like that right now. It's not bad. I used to make eggs Benedict a lot, so I kind of feel bad right now, but that's okay. Sometimes you fail, but you gotta learn from your mistakes. I think what I did there is I just released my egg a little bit slower than I should have. But um, anyway, so right now, let's check out the egg. All right, the poached egg is in the ice bath right now. It is chilling. You can see it's poached. This is the poached egg. It has a, a soft center. You can see me poking it. I actually dry it on this paper towel. Get a little dry. Dry it right there, bam, bam. McDonald's right here, bam. It's all heated up and delicious. What I'm going to do is season my poached egg now with uh, some cracked pepper. Here's some cracked black pepper. Here is some Spanish smoked paprika. Go ahead and just give it a dash of that for some, you know, that little kick. And then you're just going to throw a little bit of salt for seasoning on it. Bam. Then what you want to do is dissect your sausage McMuffin. Go ahead and pick up your poached egg. Right here, place it on there, and bam, you just elevated your sausage McMuffin to have a sausage smoked paprika cracked pepper with salt McMuffin on top. Let's see what happens when we slice into this bad boy. And just, oh, you can see the yolk coming out. Oh, it's spraying out. Sausage egg McMuffin. I love yolk, so it's not a big deal to me, but yeah, that's how you poach an egg. Put in your sausage egg McMuffin. Yum! <laughs> nope, way better. Mm. Shout out to Kimmy and Aaron for, um, it was a dollar more to get an egg on your sausage egg McMuffin, but Kimmy and Aaron made their own egg. 
and they put it on there, so they kind of inspired me to not to poach my own egg. Brownie, ice cream sundae, strawberry chocolate. <laughs> In Adventure Time, they're playing with ice cream. I'm eating ice cream. It was kind of random. But as a kid, I would always like do so many things that happened in cartoons. Like I would try to make it happen in real life. Like if people were playing with marbles, I would go and buy marbles. I remember there's a cartoon that did that. But they're eating ice cream. I was eating ice cream. It just happened on its own though. <laughs> but I'm gonna end this video and go to bed now. Good night. Peace.